Welcome back, everybody. More than two months ago, the Welton Tacna community lost one of its own. As Antelope Union High School assistant baseball coach Chris Pelfrey died in a car accident. Now, since that time, the Rams baseball program has rallied together to play its entire season in his memory. In our News 11 special report, Pelfrey is the quintessential example of how one person's life and legacy can have such a powerful and lasting impact on others. Antelope Union High School is one of our area's longest running institutions with the backing of a strong community and tradition. The Rams athletic program has both thrived and survived over the years, producing its fair share of heroes. One of them was Chris Pelfrey. Everything he did was 110%. He poured his heart and soul into everything he did. That kid was going to be special. He's one of those special ones that you can tell from an early age that not just athletically, but uh, personality wise, he's very outgoing. Um, and driven. Even as Pelfrey set foot on the Antelope campus as a freshman, his drive to succeed was evident. During his four years as a Ram, he pushed himself to the limit as a multi-sport student athlete, especially in football, baseball, and wrestling. Chris, you know, just about popped out one of his ribs at a tournament. He uh, was still wrestling, you know, and then he never went to the doctor for it. He was still wrestling and continue to go out the season through that until sectionals. Pelfrey's determination was above and beyond his various athletic roles. His focus was taking his gifts and talents to better all those around him on and off the field. He was just a positive kid. He, he was real positive and happy every time he was out here. The kid was, he was really was a light. He would, uh, he would try to brighten your day, make you, if you were down, he would make you laugh. I feel like his life was going up. He was planning on moving and pursuing his dreams of going to college. Less than a year after his graduation, while taking on the role as an assistant coach to the Rams varsity baseball team, tragedy would strike on March 11th while Pelfrey took a road trip with some of his friends. They were taking their friend to back to college in Maricopa. And uh, so his friends pulled up and he told his little brothers, he said, I'll be back in a couple hours. I was in my room. I had just fallen asleep and his brother had called me and told me what had happened and I just immediately broke down. I just didn't believe it. And I got a text from him saying that they were in a bad accident and uh, you know then I started calling around to the kids and finding out what happened and then I found out that, that Chris had passed. Pelfrey died at the scene of the accident while the rest of the group suffered various injuries. Antelope student athlete and friend Xavier Carrillo was one of those passengers. It was hard uh, seeing my own friend. Uh, just like, I mean, the fact that I know he was hurting and I myself, like, I couldn't help him out. And it just, it was just rough. The day after the tragedy, the Rams baseball team was scheduled to start their regular season. It was hard. I mean, the whole team came to the dugout and we were all dressed and ready to go to the game. And as a team, we all just made the decision to not go to the game. So we sat here and had a four-hour practice for him. After that fateful practice, the Rams quickly chose to carry on the competitive spirit of their fallen former teammate and coach, playing the rest of the season in Chris's honor. We all started building up and then just dedicating our whole season, you know, to one of Chris's, if not Chris's favorite sport. So we all played it for him. Everything we did was for Chris. Anything we did was for Chris. And it honestly just brought a better like player out of us all. And it helped us, honestly, I feel like helped us get through our season. For the next month and a half, the Rams carried their resolve for Chris with every throw, every catch, and every hit, in practice and in every game. Despite just falling short of a playoff berth, the Rams found victory in playing for Chris. This was uh, probably one of the most close-knit ball teams I've ever had the privilege of coaching. And they really came together because they were playing in honor of Chris. And so you could tell the brotherhood that they had is this is probably a bond that they're going to have forever. Antelope Mountain is a symbol of pride, community, family, history, and achievement. Chris Pelfrey's life and legacy now gives it a much richer and fuller meaning. That's how it is here at Antelope. You know, we, whenever one of us down, we all come together as one to get us through these tragic times. They loved Chris that much that, that they were willing to do that. And, uh, they poured their hearts into this season, and uh, they played well. And uh, they played, they, they, Chris is proud. Chris is proud of the way they played for him. That the legacy that I would want them to have is, is just to be remembered as that team that, that uh, 
worked hard through tragedy and, and you know, just basically gave everything they had. One of the survivors of the March 11th car accident is still recovering from serious injuries. Now, if you'd like to lend your financial support to Elizabeth Moreno, you can log on to her GoFundMe page on Facebook to help her with any ongoing medical expenses. Brandon, back to you at the desk.